I feel like fine. I don't know, I feel like I'm kind of lucky because it has helped shape me as a person. Um, I've learned to not judge people as much and like accept people for their differences. Amanda Mullins and I aren't too different from each other. We both like listening to all kinds of music, hanging out with our friends, and spending time with our families. But there's one thing that really brings us together. We're both wearing my hair. Amanda is a spunky, sporty, 13-year-old Ohio native who was diagnosed with alopecia, a non-life-threatening autoimmune disease that causes hair loss. When her hair started falling out faster than she and her parents could figure out ways to hide it, they knew it was time for a different solution. Well, the irony of it all is she was growing out her hair to donate, and, you know, she didn't even know about alopecia. I mean, she loved her hair. Her favorite thing about herself was her hair in terms of her features. Amanda gets a new wig every year from the Jeffrey Paul Academy. Paul is the founder of Wigs for Kids, a program that creates wigs from human hair and provides them to children with hair loss for free. Donors like me go to an Academy-trained salon, get their hair sectioned off into multiple ponytails for the best harvest, and then chop at least 12 inches off. Each wig is made with 15 to 20 ponytails that come from multiple people. After the hair is sorted and matched with light color strands, it's shipped off to Italy where it's hand sewn into a fitted mold. For girls like Amanda and their families, it's a godsend. Wigs can often cost thousands of dollars and cheaper synthetic wigs don't feel quite right. And there's a bunch of added bonuses. I get to choose like my colors, like he has samples. And I feel like I like blonde just because like when I was a kid, I always had blonde hair. It's just more comfortable to have a hair piece on because it's like, I guess more normal, you would say. And like I can just feel like any other teenage girl.